Good morning and welcome to the New York Stock Exchange, the epicenter of the global financial markets. 120 years ago, Henry Ford put the world on wheels. A half a century later, his company was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And today, this iconic American company is back on Wall Street to ring the opening bell and celebrate Ford refounded as it transforms itself to lead in a new era of transportation. This is an exciting day for Ford, its customers, its employees, dealers, and investors as the company continues delivering its Ford Plus plan for growth and value creation. Ford has recognized its automotive business into three new customer-focused segments. Ford Blue, Ford for iconic gas and hybrid vehicles, Ford Model E for breakthrough electric vehicles, and Ford Pro for commercial vehicles, software, and services. Now, in a little bit, I'll be surrounded by all three segments outside an experienced square, but Ford is truly, this is an iconic day, opening up the U.S. equity markets, and I can't wait to talk to all of the experts about the business dealings and all the vehicles outside in Experience Square. But first, I want to bring in Lynn. Lynn, this is Lynn Tyson. You are head of investor relations at Ford, and this is an exciting day. Can you tell me what Ford Refounded means to you? Sure. Um, the company has completely resegmented re itself around very specific customer requirements. We've got customers who are focused on electric vehicles, customers who are focused on ICE and hybrid vehicles, and then we have a huge commercial vehicle business. So this is really about resegmenting the business so we can increase our focus on our customer requirements. Tell me about the event here that you have at the New York Stock Exchange today. Sure. We're going to be taking analysts and our investors through the financial reporting implications for this and we've already shared with them all the detail information and this will give them better visibility into the strategy and our progress. Now you've been at the New York Stock Exchange many times in your career. How does it feel to be back here on the floor? Well it's amazing. It's amazing. I've, I've you know, been affiliated with the exchange for over 30 years. Ford's been listed here for almost seven decades so it's really like a homecoming. And we got to get you up to the bell podium so you could ring the U.S. equity markets opening bell and uh, join your team. So we'll see you in a little Thank bit. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. Now I'm going to bring in my co-host, Remy. Remy, how exciting is this? We have dozens of Ford's uh, employees, teammates, colleagues all over here on the floor of the exchange. This is a big deal because it's not open to the it public. It is, yeah. Trinity, isn't it? And I think it's really befitting that the atmosphere here on the New York Stock Exchange trading floor is electric. And pun intended, know. pun yes, intended, exactly. electric, electrifying <laughs> here on the floor. No, it definitely is. And I know everyone's being a little bit coy, being a little quiet, but in just a few minutes, we're going to start hearing a lot of crowd cheers, right, guys? We're going to start hearing the crowd cheer and getting excited. Come on. It's our job to wrap them up. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I know it's early. It's, it's a little bit early. Maybe we got to get them caffeinated a little bit, but they're exactly. going to get more excited in just a few seconds. And Trinity, we know that once the opening bell rings here at the New York Stock Exchange, the trading day will kick off yep. and we will see the atmosphere change. And speaking of electric, you will be showing us some of the electric vehicles outside. Outside after of the Experience bell. Square. But you know, to your point about how this is an active trading for floor. We have about $30 trillion in capital that exchange hands on, depending on the day, of course. We have between one to 200 traders here on the floor, so you're going to see them about, you know, zipping past us at any given moment as we prepare to open up the U.S. equity markets. And again, this is a big deal because the trading floor is not open to the public. It is open to our listed companies, guests of the New York Stock Exchange, like I said, dozens of Ford's teammates, colleagues, maybe even some friends and family are right here on the floor to witness them ring that opening bell. And again, what, something like 100 million people could be mm -hmm. watching from all around the world as they open up the U.S. equity markets. And I think you mentioned a key word there, and that is zipping. And it's not just vehicles, but we'll see traders zipping around the trading floor in just a few moments as well. Just Trinity. a few moments. We're about 30 seconds out right now, so we're going to start hearing the crowd get a little bit excited. And we have Lynn Martin, who is the president of the New York Stock Exchange, on the bell podium. She is going to start encouraging everybody to cheer. And we have CNBC set right here. We're going to try to make it a little loud for them to get through their show today. So we're about nine seconds out right now. We're going to listen in to those moments as we prepare to open the market. Here we go.
opening bell has rung here at the New York Stock Exchange, and that means the trading day has kicked off. And for the Ford team, it is clearly a proud day and an exciting one at that. And as we mentioned earlier, the leadership from the Ford team is here, and they're still up on the podium, and we will be talking to them shortly. But we also have UAW workers from the Dearborn plant here at the exchange, as well as dealers. And keep in mind that there are many thousands of employees watching live right now and representing all of you that are working hard for Ford. Now, the New York Stock Exchange is dedicated to turning opportunity into reality, and that is what happens here at the New York Stock Exchange, and Ford has been making that happen since 1956. So it is a great fit for the New York Stock Exchange and Ford to be together. Also, keep in mind that today Ford is taking another big step in its long history with segmentation, and we'll be talking more about that as well. But with segmentation, this will allow uh, the company to bring even more extraordinary products as well as services to market and surprise as well as delight its customers. And as I mentioned earlier, we have the opportunity to talk to your CFO, Ford CFO, John Lawler. John, great to have you here and congratulations on the opening bell. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, first and foremost, tell us, everyone watching here today, the strategic importance of what you're announcing today. Well, this is really about refounding Ford and it's so we can enable us to deliver our important Ford Plus plan. And the key thing about it is we're now segmenting around three key customer groups, Ford Blue, Ford E, and Ford Pro. Ford Blue is about our iconic vehicles, Ford E is about, of course, electric vehicles, and then Ford Pro is our commercial vehicles. And it's really about increasing our focus, speed, and accountability, making decisions, driving value, and, and increasing returns for our customers and making our customers, you know, as happy as they can be. And you highlighted a lot of important points there, John, but I do want to ask you about electric vehicles and the way that you do business. Now, we know that Ford uh, gas vehicles have been popular and they have been etched in the memory banks of American as well as drivers around the world. And in 2022, uh, Ford was one of the top EV makers in the United States. So why is Ford changing the way that it's organized and how it does business? Well, if you look at our business, we had a startup buried within Ford with our, our Bev business. And now we're going to be able to show investors just how that business is developing, how it's scaling and growing, growing market share. And then we'll be able to show them our walk to profitability, which is an important milestone for them. And our, our employees, they'll be able to see this all unfold as well. And then there's Ford Pro, which is a gem uh, around commercial vehicles that's buried inside Ford. Now there'll be transparency around that, and we'll be able to see that business flourish as well and what people don't understand is that our blue business that's a growth business over the next next foreseeable years and so it's really exciting to be able to talk about the business around the key customer segments and show the power of all three businesses for our employees and our customers and our shareholders and speaking of shareholders, how is all of what you just mentioned good for shareholders? Well, transparency, of course. They'll now be able to see exactly what's happening with each of the businesses. And then, as I said earlier, our focus on the customers and delivering them really distinct and differentiated experiences and products. And then not only will we be able to do that for our customers, but then what we'll be able to do for shareholders is show them where we're headed with each of the businesses over time and the growth potential in those businesses. And last but not least, John, before I let you go, you mentioned customers. So could you just highlight how this will benefit customers and what the takeaway is for the Ford team that's watching? Yeah, better products, right? It's all about the focus. Better products, understanding their needs really deeply and providing those needs with uh, products that they can't live without. And that's what we're seeing with our iconic products in Ford Blue. Great battery electric vehicles, number two in the U.S. last year in sales. And then for our commercial customers, it's all about the services and experiences, improving their products activity and their uptime on the road. Well, John, thank you so much for joining me today. You have a big day ahead of you and you just mentioned experience. So we'll start heading on over to the experience square. Great. Thank you. Thank you, John. And now we will head outside to experience square where Trinity is waiting and she is surrounded by a fleet of Ford vehicles.
That's right, Remy. We are out here in Experience Square, as you said, surrounded by vehicles from all of Ford's business segments. And we are actually going to start over here at the Ford Blue. I am joined here with Alicia Juice, the Director of Global Cycle Plan and Product Planning. Alicia, thank you so much for being here, and it's such an exciting day. Now, what mission of is Ford Blue? Uh, so we are taking over a century worth of automotive and internal combustion engine expertise into the future. You know, we've got such a great portfolio of products. Obviously, they look great. You can see that. But we're also delivering new, exciting, connected driving experiences. Uh, through February, uh, Ford is America's number one selling brand. Also, top tr uh, truck manufacturer and top SUV brand. But we're not stopping there. You know, we're continuously enhancing our portfolio with safety, reliability, uh, and new features. And the Mustang Dark Horse. Let's, yeah. uh, yes, I mean, it looks quite intimidating. I, I, I mean, I might have to drive it home. <laughs> well, well, this vehicle is not designed for the street. It's designed for the racetrack. Um, so, but this uh, seventh generation Mustang, the whole family of seventh generation Mustang, uh, will be available to, to buy from summer. So you'll be able to get your hands on one then. Uh, this is this dark horse is the most powerful, naturally aspirated, uh, five liter V8 Mustang ever. It's got 500 horses under the hood, and that's uh, thanks to unique crankshaft and uh, engine components. Uh, uh, shared with the Mustang Shelby GT500. It is such a beautiful car. And what else I'm eyeing over here is this stunning truck. Yeah, so this is this is the Maverick Tremor. It's really building on the success of Maverick. Uh, the same great compact uh, package, which you know is perfect for our customers in the city, uh, but it's also offering fantastic off-road capability for our customers that just love to get outdoors. Um, so this you know, combination of off-road capability, bold styling. Uh, you can drive it here in Manhattan, but you can also live your outdoors adventures with it. It's got a one inch uh, ground clearance lift. It's got a, a tuned front and rear suspension for off-road capability, trail control, fantastic two liter EcoBoost engine, really great, fun to drive, really capable. And it's all these ingredients that are making this, you know, uh, uh, a top, uh, vehicle for our customers. Fully functional. Well, thank you so much. And now we're going to, I'm going to move over here to this Ford Model E, and I'm going to speak to Lisa Teed, F-150 Mustang Maki brand manager. Lisa, Hi. this is super exciting. And this, this car, wow, it looks so amazing. Now tell us about Ford Model E and how is Ford changing the market for EVs? Well, really, Ford Model E, one of our critical business units now, is all about innovation, and not just innovation of all electric vehicles and for what we have today and coming forward, but it's also on software, software across the entire company, across all the vehicle lines, so their lives really can be made easier and more effective. Okay, so <laughs> you electrified the Mustang, but it is really worthy of the name. Tell me about this. So, all right look at this thing. It's head turning, right? Yeah. I mean, look at the style and design. It's just unbelievably beautiful, but it's also performance. So with the immediate torque that you get, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds on the GT Performance Edition, it is a head turner and in a thrilling ride by all of it together in one. Can you tell me about what's under the hood? Yeah, so it's considered a frunk. So there's no engine, right? So there's a nice storage compartment, but what's really about this vehicle is that it's now made for more than just me or I. It's the we car, so I can bring four or five people with us and all our stuff is an SUV and it's all electric. Amazing, and, and the frunk, do you want to show me what it looks yeah, like? let's take a look at the F-150 Lightning. I'm actually going to so, switch you sides over here so you could show us this frunk. So when you want to talk about frunk, what else you can do with a vehicle when you have all this great storage today? We actually have juice ready for you down here at the Wall Street. <laughs> I love this. Stock Exchange, but foundationally, this frunk becomes a new way to think about how I can store my stuff, take my stuff, and basically get the job done. Yeah, no, and you know what? We were talking earlier about this because it, it would be great for tailgating. It would be great for any outdoor concerts or events. You know, you, it's really a multifunctional uh, truck. But let's really think about this. This is an F-150. We have such a loyalty base. This is an F-150 inside and out. But what's really different about it, it's all electric. So you can see here, the vehicle itself has the capability to not only take an electric charge, but also to give the electricity back. And when you're out and about, if you're on a work site, if you're on a campsite, if you're off off the you know off the train you basically can have this as a vehicle that provides you with energy 
all through and through. Amazing. Thank you so much, Lisa. It was great speaking with you. I'm actually going to move to the next truck here. And this one looks really super duty. I'm actually going to bring in now Raj Sakhar. He's the general manager for Ford Pro Product Marketing and Strategy. Raj, wow, this looks like a heavy duty piece of artillery. Can you tell me what Ford Pro does for businesses? Sure. Ford Pro is a productivity accelerator for business. We're a one-stop shop offering vehicles, software, charging, services, and financing all under one roof. And we're focused on businesses small to large, so everyone from the trades to the S&P 500. And we know these customers better than anyone based on our decades of commercial leadership. Now, can you tell me how do you help businesses keep workhorses like the Super Duty and that e-transit on the road? Sure. Our customers are all about uptime. If the vehicles aren't out on the road and working, they're not earning. So we help by providing the right tool for the job, like this all-new 23 model year Super Duty. We pair it with 5G connectivity, software solutions to help the businesses maintain, manage, and optimize their fleets remotely. Great. Thank you so much, Raj. But real quickly, um, how should investors view the future of fleet services? It's really exciting. It's just beyond the vehicles, and we're putting together the software solutions, the one-stop shop to help unlock all these new tools for businesses to increase productivity and enhance loyalty. Great. Thank you so much, Raj. It was great speaking with you. And I'm going to bring in my co-host, Remy, again, uh, because it looks like the celebrations and festivities are coming to an end, Remy. I'm a little bit bummed about that. I know, <laughs> but it's been such an exciting morning so far, Trinity. Yes, yeah, so um, for all of you who are watching, be sure to visit Ford's Investor Relations website to learn more about the company's Ford Plus program and initiatives and transformation. And watch the new financial reporting teach-in presentation with John Lauer and Kathy Callahan, which begins today at 10 a.m. Eastern. So don't miss that. And Trinity, also I do want viewers to keep in mind to keep their eyes open for more information about the performance of all of the new business segments when Ford reports its first quarter earnings on May 2nd and also when it holds its Capital Markets Day on May 22nd. And from the New York Stock Exchange, we want to thank everybody for watching.